as I promised last time, we're gonna redo this game too. That's not Namco. No, that's Chemco, the <laughs> the budgeted Namco. In the Look donut at all dimension. Those donuts the... and uh, what is that toy? Ice cream. And nightmare fuel. Oh, clown plants. Oh gosh. Oh god. Meanwhile, in the convenience store of the stars. We come to Clown Planet. And they're having an annual celebration. Not just any celebration, but a special race to see who is the fastest. Because apparently Ooh. clowns care about that sort of stuff. Yeah. In fact, there's only two contenders. Yep, Kid Clown and uh, Naughty Joe from the original game. Hosted by King Clown. And his daughter, Honey. Yep. <laughs> and it's not, and like I said, it's not just any race, but a special race to see who's the fastest and to win a kiss or whatever from the hot princess honey herself. Have naughty Joe. Ah. Honey clearly doesn't like him. Yeah, honestly, would you blame her? How was he invited? <laughs> he served as parole. And our baby. Hi, kid. And yeah, we have Kid Clown just being all goofy as always. Honey kind of wants him to win. Well, yeah. And it's not just any clown we're talking about. We're talking about honey. Hotter than hot. <laughs> I'm so hot! <laughs> Look how hot she is. She can even survive the harshest of temperatures. Whoosh. Not even the sun can stop me. Okay, basically she's the hottest clown ever. I'm so hot. On top of that, I'm cute! Cute! Innuendo! I'm su not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised they got away with that, considering this is a kid's game. Yeah. yeah. But Kid Clown will win her heart. <laughs> Assuming his car will cooperate. His clown is also attracted to the grid girls. Okay. And somewhere in the distance, he also found Lollipop. And somewhere out there, his uncle's a taxi cab for Roger. <laughs> hey, Naughty Joe. His family line's weird. Whoa, he has a crazy... He's... Oh, his... It's a bullet bill. Whoa, and a falco. A vicious one. But they but yeah, but definitely not loyal. Just a manimal. Yep, he's he's riding he's riding a wild beast. There should be a law against that. But with that said, Whoa. it's race time. Okay, let's do this. The epic Cake Clown sequel where we're on cars this time as opposed to being on foot! Whoa! Psych. Oh jeez! Oh, All our cars are ah. the starting gun popped every tire. Ugh. Crap. But the race must go on, as they say, and, well, yeah. Time to huff it. Uh, Kid Clown, go on! Ow! Oh. Oh. Welcome! Ouch. Of course he had to get affected by the fourth wall. Talk about hitting the fourth wall. <laughs> but with that said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our reattempt of Kid Clown and Crazy Taste 2. Love, love, honey, Sudatsu-sen. <laughs> I hope I pronounced that right. It's okay, we're Sudatsu good. Yeah, I, th I think that's right, Sudatsu-sen. I was wondering what year this was released. It, it looks kind of vintage. What, uh, what system was this on? Only on the PS1, only released in Japan, unfortunately. Mm. But emulation mm. helps. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mendefin. Though that being said, like I said in my um, previous attempt, I do I do still have a um, legitimate copy of this. It was very rare, granted, but it also was actually pretty inexpensive. Okay. Oh my goodness! Did I say vintage? I mean retro, not vintage. This looks a little... So for anyone who played the original Crazy, it looks like for anyone who ever played the original Kid Clown on that dated, horrible console, um, <laughs> it looks like it's pretty much the exact same thing, but 3D now. Yep, you actually have full 3D movement, which actually kind of kind of makes this game's difficulty nearly neg nearly non-existent. <gasps> but of course, they still lay a whole bunch of traps and obstacles to get in kids' way, and nice. you know, obviously we don't want that naughty Joe to win. But for Celie's sake, since she has not seen the original Kid Clown, I'll think, uh, tell her how, it's, how this goes. Alright, so your whole goal of Kid Cloud and Crazy Chase, both the first game and the second, you're pretty much going through a linear course trying to collect four four spheres representing suits of card. And once you do that and reach the reach the end, then you'll you'll get to go to the next level. Otherwise, well, actually, this is something they changed for Kid Clown too. In the original Kid Clown, if you weren't able to get all this all the uh, of the uh, suit spheres, as I call them, you'd have to restart the level. And yeah. I'll admit it was kind of stupid. Uh, for Kid Clown and Crazy Chase too, they do things sort of differently. You actually can progress to the next level even if you don't get them all, but at a high cost. What? More on that oh, later. Oh no. 
curse you, ah! curse, curse. Ow. Ow, geez, flat. Ah, oh, crap. Curse you, 3D. Good, 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 good. Wow. Wow. Blast it, commercial oh. mark. What did he, did he say, Seely? Huh? What, what did, did he say, blast it, cursed, commercial, broadcast commercialism? Cursed broadcast commercialism? Yeah, because those giant barrels that crushed us had the Chemco logo on did them. Did you say, you said King DDD, don't you mean No, I said, D? I said double D. I think I said DD while trying to say double D. Uh, I just said the D's after. I a double D? I can say I that. I double D. <laughs> so yeah, when you get all the suit spheres, you get your key to your rocket, and away you go! And honey is rooting for us. Yay! Wait, what was that? Now, are, are there multiple endings to this game as well? Yes, there are. Though, honestly, there there's only two of them, and, well... The way you get it is actually not quite as not quite as um dumb as in the first game. Yeah, no, not quite as big of a pain as it was in the first game. So, so anyway, I'll... since we were able to get all the coins in the level, we can do a bonus game. And just gonna get this out of the right way right now. I think these the money games in Kid Cut Two kind of suck. This is it. This is one of them, yes. But um, you're basically going through driver ed with your car that I'm pretty sure you popped the wheels off of earlier. Well, oh, not geez. to mention we're already at full health, so this we don't need this anymore. They should be giving us they should be giving us like coins or something now. We're full health, guys. Well, actually, that's the thing. Coins are really only there for the sake of being able to access these uh, bonus stages. So yeah, in a way, uh, this is sort of redundant. Yeah. So, whoa, dear. Deja vu. I've been in this place before. I'm on the street. Sorry, go ahead, Jason. Yeah, notice how slippery these controls are. That's um, ridiculous. Yes. That is... Is it tank controls? Uh, I want to say it is, yes. It's Aww. not fair, we're full health. Sorry, Kid Cloud. You did not... You didn't get... You won't, you won't be getting your license today. So, Aww, man. I've, been I've honestly been trying to look this game up, and I can't find it anywhere online, because I was going to look up who the voice actors were, but it's... It, there are, like, no entries for it. Yeah, like, this is one of those games that just pretty much came and went completely. I mean, granted, I'm I'm honestly surprised I was able to able to, even able to find a copy in the first place. I was wondering why I never heard of it then. Well, the first game I would say is a little easier, is a little more common knowledge, but the rest of the games he started, honestly, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if not that many people know about it. Well, the main kid, well, I think the main kid, oh, curse you, Johnny Joe. Uh, I think the main on. kid clown, I think the main kid clown that most people know about is the one for the Super Nintendo with the less than adorable cover. Oh! Oh no no wait wait the less of the, wait are you you're not talking about the NES game are you? The one with the yeah uh, I think the NES one yeah with all the blue and the one with the clown the blue outfit. Oh, yeah the blue hair yeah that that didn't look the least bit attractive. Oh, this one well, not to say that Kid Clown's attractive I'm just saying like at least this one has more out this Ow. one has more of a cute thing going for it. Yeah this one has a little bit more of an identity to it outside Whoa. of just being awkward '90s American bullshit. So but honestly, so, oh, but yeah just like. I'm honestly, I've never, I was never sure on why, like, the Kid Cloud games got so stupidly obscure. Like, maybe it's also the matter of the fact that this came out, or, well, the original Kid Cloud and Crazy Chase, as far as I'm concerned, was released right around the time when the Super Nintendo, Genesis, Air, all that, were just loaded to the brim with plaf with mascot platformers. Guys, look on Skype. Huh? Oh, sorry. I'll check that in a second. Uh, let's right see. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, well, no, oh, 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 perfect. Oh, thank you, Seely. You've actually found, but you actually found the voice actors. Thank you, Seely. Yay, so... I, like, Yay. I never would have thought it'd be on GameFAQ. Oh, I didn't get all the orbs. Well, I can just hit the right anyway. So, does getting the orbs affect the ending? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so let's see who the people are. So, <clears throat> The king, who, if you, as you recall, uh, J uh, if you recall, hype gave a "Well, my" kind of voice too, like King Cam. Yes. <laughs> actually, before you get, actually before you continue Go on ahead. with that, Logan, uh, this is what happens when you do when you do not get all the orbs in a previous stage. Right, what happens? See. Oh wow. Well, first you go to your next stage, and that. Oh. What? Oh my, what? You lose half of your health for the next stage. What? That's not fair! What just, what just happened? That, uh, he fell headfirst into the sand and lost all of his health because uh, that is really punishing. Yeah. Yes, it is. Do not miss an orb. Though, thankfully, in this game with with your, with your this awesome 3D controls, it's honestly, honestly getting all the orbs oh, is probably the easiest it's ever been. This is scary. Ow. Oh, 
Wow, that's kind of, kind of yeah. gory. They kind of like explode with green ink or whatever. But uh, it's yeah, so it's don't, slime. Don't ones. Yeah, don't. Oh no! no. Obviously, they hurt. No, now actually, you know, no, no. Go ahead, Logan, with your uh, old voice actor trivia. Oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, <clears throat> um, so oh, okay. here's a little callback. Oh no! Not Not this part. I hated this have, part of the first one. one. We have angered. We have angered. We have, Oh, we have no, angered no, no, the no, barbarian no. warriors of the no, no, east no, 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 in Christopher no, no, no. Story. Logan, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that the voice of the king was in a Hope Don't Know Can game for the PlayStation. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I see. Seki Matsu, whatever. He was some guy named Hobo. No idea. He was in the, he was in the, he, he was in the Higurashi game. He was in, uh, he was in the, he was in the Ratchet and Clank PS4 game as some other people, just really? as an extra. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he's in Eternal around. Sonata. He, oh, he was Legato in Eternal Sonata. Uh, I think Legato is one of the lead in that game. But yeah, he was in the in the Japan. Uh, hang on. Okay, let's look at uh, Honey next. Honey. Mizutani. She was. Oh, she was. Uh, I. Oh, hey James. She was Irish. In, she was. She was the Japanese voice for Iris in Project X Zone. Oh, interesting. And she was the voice for Minnie Mouse in Kingdom Hearts Two. Oh. <laughs> nice. Wow. I'm looking up. I'm looking up the voice for Kid. And, uh, and, uh, sh she was Pit in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Japanese. Oh, shit. Ooh, nice. Huh. So she, so she voices two kids. I guess so. <laughs> Kid Clown and Kid Icarus. And then some girl named <laughs> Pai Chan, but I don't know who, she, she's from Virtual Fighter. Oh, oh she's uh, the, uh, she's the Chinese fighter, I think. Oh, and then, uh, James, you probably would know this more than I did, more than I would. She is the Japanese voice for Axel from Mega Man X series. Oh, a oh I've heard of that character, oh. Axel. Oh yeah, Axel. That interesting. So that's uh, so that's Kid Clown. Kid Clown would... is Axel in a uh, in Pit. You know what that would Pit. you know what that would also explain why explain why for the English Careful. localization of X Seven they made him, they pretty much made him sound like a complete dork. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then finally we have the voice for. Uh, Naughty Joe. Dirty, yeah, Naughty Joe. Sorry. Not Dirty Joe. I'm Dirty Dick. <laughs> well, to be fair, Dirty, dirty <laughs> Joe was dirty also his name man. in the, uh... You can go with either or. Yeah, I know. He actually was not from a lot else. He was... Most I can find is he was from some series called Fate slash Grand Order on the iOS and Fate slash Extra, which looks somewhat familiar, but... Oh, the, else oh the Fate me. series. Yeah, I... I'm, I think, yeah, Toronto's a huge fan of those game, uh, that series, but honestly, yeah. I couldn't begin to tell you, like, what it's about or what, anything. Yeah, I mean, other than that, nothing much else. But yeah, thanks for the fight, yep. CD. Oh, why? Oh, look at that. Oh, why are you climbing back up? Oh. What's the matter with you? It's just a cute little, I, I think it's cute. But, uh, yeah. I'm noticing some screen tearing on the left. Is that a result of yeah. animation? I think it's, I, 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 it could be. Like, to be fair, this game was released pretty early on in the PS, PS1's life cycle. Like, right around the same time. Ah! Ow! Ah. Right Dang. in the crotch! I will say... Matt Sports! Know, okay, spoilers, <laughs> Matt isn't joining us because Proton John made a, made a bad review. But uh, nah, I, I Not Proton really. John, uh, Pro Jared. Pro it Jared. Pro Jared. Pro, Pro Gerard, the finishist. <laughs> so, so, the pro, so... I, what I will say about this game that I think makes it maybe a little hard to approach is everything kind of happens so randomly. Like, you really cannot tell which of these is going to be a good thing, which isn't going to be a bad thing. Oh, gosh. Well, yeah, yeah you got them all. I mean, this is, this is definitely a game that heavily, heavily focuses on the whole trial and error Whoa! aspect. Oh, Naughty Joe. You jerk. Oh, size. Oh, well, jerk wad. You didn't get well, all the coins either, but hey. Wow. But yeah, for this playthrough, I'm pretty much not even going to bother too much with the coins, because again, all they do is just, they take you to the bonus stages, for the bonus stage you only get more hearts, and yeah. Oh yeah, by yeah. the way, it should be said that this that this entire race spans across an, across multiple planets, and yeah. one thing I will find it, think is an interesting attention to detail is that in the background of every stage, you actually can see the planet you're going to go to next. Oh, so this is a giant red planet, so we are going to... We are going to a desert. Ah. Uh, Not just any desert, a war-torn desert, but which, well, yeah. Oh, welcome to well, welcome to Hokuto Shinken. Suddenly, <laughs> yes, it looks does it does look like that with mines, with mines and all sorts of other death traps. And but yes, Joe is so confident he can win. He's not even bothering to race. He just wants to trip. Oh gosh, rockets! Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, honestly, dirty Joe in his, his entirety is like Naughty this Joe. weird omnip. Uh, whatever. I'm going <laughs> with you. Right oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, 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 oh no! 
no. Okay, say so go go ahead. Say about Joe. Okay, so um, Joe in the entirety of the franchise, those though most notably in this game, is some sort of weird omnipotent force that can mess with with, a, with which who can mess with the laws of physics so badly it makes you wonder how the hell he hasn't won this won this race by now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Careful. But yeah, this this place has it all like spikes. Tornadoes, bombs, and spike pit, and spike pits. Oh my God! It does oh. look like it does look like look like hooked on no can. Wojska, twenty two thousand X. No, um. For those for those wondering, isn't isn't that essentially the Japanese name for um, Fist of the North Star? Yeah, but but but, uh, but yeah, but it's so weird. Honestly, Hokuto no Shinken rolls off the tongue easier to me than Fist of the North Star. Like I'm trying to say it quickly. Should we just keep? Should we just keep referring to as Hokuto no Ken instead of Fist of the North Star? We'll just go with either. Oh, oh no, he's got the map. And he's gone with the hammer! <laughs> now, be careful because, because for a certain point, he'll, he will keep following you. Oh, Jesus Come Christ! On. <laughs> oh, no. We're short. We're goombified. Get out of my way, jerk off! Go away! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, my God. There it is. You know, you got it! Now I'm ready for my life! You know, with how badly I stalled at that point, I'm kind of surprised I actually was, wasn't that close to running out of time. Because I remember way back when me and Becca did the original attempt, like whenever you start, when you're whenever you're starting to run out of time in a stage, you hear a random woman shriek as if she was in a horror, being stabbed in a horror movie, oh, and then oh, no. yes, that's not a, that that planet's not even finished being made yet. <laughs> but that's not just any. Well, to be fair, we're not going there just yet. Oh, I saw that. It was in the background. I thought, oh, that's the next planet. Wait, that's a planet? I thought that was the sun. I, you said I could see it in the background at all times, so I thought that was the thing in the background. Yes! Oh, 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 oh it's stage two. Oh, you go to stage... Oh, you do... There are two stages oh, yeah, per Oh, yeah, yeah. Every planet in this game is comprised <laughs> of two, two acts. Okay, okay. It, it, it runs completely off of Sonic logic. Okay, sorry. So, so as you were... Oh, jeez. Yeah! Oh, he, oh, I just noticed back there, if you, if you go back and look at the footage, Naughty Joe dropped his nose. Yes. Oh, no. Put it back on. I missed it. I did too. Well, well I'm sure we'll see it when we uh, when this thing's done. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I'm sure. We, and that being said, I don't think it's also going to be the last time we'll see someone drop their nose. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, I mean, uh, it did. It also did. I mean, we did also see that happen in the original. Oh, game. right there. See? Oh, oh. there he is. Oh. Now we saw it. We've been redeemed. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But uh. Um, Is he gonna do it again? Oh come on! I didn't even see that. Yeah. Oh, He's just like, dang. I'm watching so, you. So you're, ah. so, so you're in the middle of saying St. James before I interrupt that. I'm sorry. Oh, you're talking about the race. He said the last time he did it, you, it, it, a, woman, a woman was shrieking. Yeah. Yeah. There was a, there was a, there was a woman woman that shrieks as if she was being stabbed in a horror flick. And then you that's what that's oh. pretty much your your clue that you better get the fuck moving. That reminds me of that one song from Donkey Kong Country 2, <laughs> where you're when you're on the roller coaster. You just suddenly hear like people shrieking in the background. That was a really that was a really odd attention to detail. Like not gonna mince words. Because it didn't even sound like I think they were. I think David Wise was thinking, oh, give me some sound effects of people screaming like they're on a roller coaster. And so I was like, okay. And he's like, we found someone screaming. He's like, good. Do you want to hear it? No, no. I trust you. I think you got the right kind of scream. No, they got <laughs> no. They got the screaming bloody murder kind of scream. Not the woo. They got the kind of scream that Seely does. No, you don't Aww. scream that. No, no, you don't scream that bad on roller coasters. I was gonna say. <laughs> now know. about that whole thing about <laughs> Naughty Joe being an omnipotent force. What? What are you doing? Oh no! Oh Roll gosh. Jesus Christ! But yeah, oh my God, no. to, to fully survive in this one, just follow the coins. Okay. Oh, what happens if you get hit shit. by it? Well, you go flying for one thing, and you stall for oh. time. Okay. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, Yay. we're done with the war-torn desert zone. Now we're gonna go to the sun. Yeah, that that's not what? a planet. That's no moon. <laughs> that's, so, uh, that's no sun. That's no planet. So, James, I also know that this game seems to have, like, a butt-ton more levels than the first game did. Oh, yes. This game is about twice as long twice as long as the original Cake Clown. And probably for the best. That's good. Like, in total, this game has about 16 levels. Oh boy. So yeah, welcome to the welcome to the lava zone. 
<laughs> oh geez, lava everywhere. Oddly enough, there's a there apparently there's a civilization here. I mean, if you don't if you can see that town over there, like I see it. How do they live with these harsh temperatures? Uh, oh shit. Oh no. No. Get ready to run. Yeah. And again, I do. And again, I do like Kid Clown scream. I wonder if that actually is the same voice actor oh, doing the scream. I, no, I don't think it is. But I also, I'm pretty sure it's also not. Well, uh, just a stock scream of Tom from Tom and Jerry, like we thought it was early, back in the original game. <laughs> Easy, I, oh. I mean, whoever. Me on edge. I mean, whoever did it, like, impressive on their part, because they got some serious lung power. Yeah. Okay, we're doing good. Got coins. Got coins. Come on, come on, come on. So, is it possible to, like, move forward while also aiming in direction, or is it, like, really, like, really stiff, like, gotta move left and right and then move forward? Uh, you have free control whether you're moving or jumping. Oh, that be- Oh, that actually- Thank you for reminding me about that. Um, one thing I will say about Kid Clown and Crazy Chase, uh, 2. This was back before, well, 3D- 3D platformers were really that big of a thing, so you kind of had to take into account you're moving in three dire three dimensions, and- well, since we're sort of going through a so action, thank thank you, Blue. Wait, what are you doing? What? What? What are you doing? Go away. Well, oh come far. on. That's, oh, that's crap. not fair. You can really hey, game. Hey, Logan. Really? What? Whoosh, bullshit. I know it. I know <laughs> it. Careful. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, I'm trying to remember what I was trying to talk about earlier. Okay, uh, the controls. Um. Since this is sort of an isometric type game, there's there's two types of control schemes. One of them is if you're actually, well, shit, I missed you're, one. And I think it was the one balloon you left and didn't get right there at the end. You just ran past it. Well, fuck. Anyway, um, one of the controls is that um, you ever played those isometric games where holding down doesn't actually make you go down, but makes you go like in a in a uh, or to the right, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah south, dude, southwest dude, or like south. All, it's all the spiral games on the GBA. Uh. Not that bad, but or excuse me, yeah, it's about as it's no, it's worse than that actually. But yeah, okay. basically, if you're moving down, you're technically moving down from like the isometric path, not so much in general. But there ah. is also, but thankfully ah. there is not. Oh, we still is, lose half of our health. Yeah. Yes, again, that's that's your that's your punishment for not getting all the orbs. But no, the um, second control scheme, yeah. which I think I did use for this uh, playthrough, is that you can make it more natural. Like holding down does make kid cl go down. Like in general, not like going down this path here. So, um, okay, okay. Uh, so, oh, geez. Ow! Whoosh. Oh, no! <laughs> so, next two things. Uh, oh! <laughs> wow! Oh, poor, the sprites are killed. I assure you guys, oh. this game is easier than the original. Okay. Are you so sure? Next... Positive. So the, so, the next couple questions I had. Why do I find that hard to believe? <laughs> the next Have you questions. seen the commentary of the first part? Sorry, Logan, continue. No, no, it's alright, it's alright. Uh, next... Oh, wait a minute, I love this. A bomb. What? Ah! A <laughs> okay. He's like, uh, okay. Well, that just happened. Uh, yeah, I, was, I love gang stuff like that. He at least tried. <laughs> that was funny. Um, is, um, is there a closing cutscene that's also animated? Yes. Oh, no. oh, be cool to in, fact, both, in fact, both endings you can unlock are animated. Uh, I think we'll wait until the next part to talk about how to unlock the endings, but I think, okay, the thing I was going to ask is, um, one, what happens if you run out of health? You run out of health? I do believe that constitutes a game over. Though I think okay. you can still, I think you can still continue, you can still continue from where you died, but like, yeah. Oh my. Kind of like Breath of the Wild. Well, so long as you find that right groove, I guess that part isn't hard, but boy is it dicey. Now let me just say right now, that's pure conjecture on my part, because I actually never got a game over in this game. That's fine. Not uh, once. The number two is, uh, if you don't get all the suits, you fall off the rocket, presumably, and die, and take a lot of damage. If you, if you lose half your health, if you do it once, if you do it twice, would that just be an instant death if you didn't refill your health at all? Uh, I want to say that's the case, yes. Yes. And with that said, we Yay! did it. We beat the sun. <laughs> we beat the sun! Thank you, honey. Yay! So we're going Thanks, honey. Oh, it does look like we're going someplace cooler. Yep. Ne we, we, now that we're done with the sun, in the next part, we shall we shall cool ourselves off in the water planet. Woohoo! Till next Yay. time, everybody. Oh, going to okay. water world. Hey, is that Kevin Costner? <laughs> <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, bye.